what I have here is, you know, going back to our quadratic uh, equations. But what we're going to do is we're going to talk about a new different formula that's going to give us a parabola that's not going to be vertical but actually horizontal. So these are two equations that we dealt with um, for vertical, vertical uh, parabolas or quadratic equations. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce you a new equation that's going to take a parabola and actually have it go horizontally rather than vertically. So that equation we can represent as y minus k equals 4p times x minus h. And what I'm going to do is show you what exactly t represents, right? Because that's a new one with the h and the k. You know over here h and k represent the vertex. But now what I'm going to do is, is what is this p value going to help us with? And then how are these going to uh, help us out? So we know that a general parabola, you know, if we're just going to look at one, um, one of these, we know it open either up or open down. But I'm telling you, this equation represents a parabola that opens sideways or horizontally. So let's go and take a look at what if this equation opened to the right and what if this equation opens to the left? What is now going to be, how are we going to be able to find what exactly that P is and what this happen, um, what this is going to tell us? Well, the H and the K are still going to be your vertex, all right? But rather than being the, um, the lowest or the highest point, now it's going to be the furthest point to the right or furthest point to the left. And both of these points are going to take the form HK. All right. And then the exact same thing, remember when A was positive, all right, that means my parabola opened up. And when A was negative, that means my parabola opened down. Well, in this exact same case, here, when A is positive, my, my parabola opens up. And here, when my A is negative, actually, let's put that in front. When my A is negative, that means I'm going to open to the left. All right. But what I want to primarily spend the time for this video doing is showing you how to find the focus and the directors. All right. So what exactly? Again, it's the focus and the directors. Well, every parabola is going to have a focus and a directors. So this is what we call, actually, let's do, let's do some different colors. I think let's mix it up here. And let's not use green. Let's use brown. So I'm going to have a point, which we call our focus. And we're going to have a dot, which is our directors. And the same thing, focus, directors. All right? And the important thing to understand about the focus and the directors, maybe this should be a little bit farther out. All right, so I'm just kind of estimating this as best as possible I can. But one thing we need to understand is the distance between the focus and the directrix is the same value. And that same value is what we call our value P. So if we know the value between the directrix and the, and the vertex, or the focus and the vertex, we now know our value of p. But what if I'm just given my vertex, you know, or given an equation, how do I determine where my focus and where my directrix are going to be? So it doesn't matter. Well, one thing you notice, in the positive, I'm going to find my focus, I'm going to go in the positive direction. And in, with my a is negative, I actually go in the negative direction. But it's not going to matter. Either way, we know that our vertex takes a form of HK, right? So if I know my vertex is in the form of H comma K. Now, when my parabola is horizontal, I know that my focus, all right, my focus and my vertex, they all actually lie on this same line. Well, at least, I'm sorry, my focus and my vertex all lay on the same line, which we call our axis of symmetry. So what I notice, if I want to find my directrix, I know I'm going to be going horizontally. So to find the focus, what I'm going to do is do x, and then, then I'm going to be adding my p, comma, k. Now you might say, well, yeah, you add p when it's positive, but shouldn't you be subtracting p when it's negative? Well, here's the kind of thing that you'll understand when you'll get to this. When this is a negative equation, this is already going to be negative. That 4, or this value, will be negative. So therefore, it's already going to make the p negative. So really, I'll be adding a negative number. But just for always remember, when you have your focus, it's always x, I'm sorry, not x, h plus p comma k. And notice that the focus is a point. So 
So we're representing this as a point. And if I do go in the negative direction, all I will mean is my P will actually be a negative value. So the value of P is still going to be the same. It's just going to be in the negative direction. Now let's go and find the directrix. All right, so the direct negative directrix. So if I notice I'm going, if I'm adding it to find, uh, find the focus, I need to go in the opposite direction to find the directrix. So my directrix, so however, notice it's still horizontal, is going to be a vertical line, which means x equals h minus p. And again, you could say, well, here the directrix is positive. Well, again, if my p was negative, it would be at h minus a negative p. Well, minus a negative would be a double negative, which means it would be adding it. Which that's the reason why we move the directions to the positive direction. However, when you have a horizontal parabola, here's kind of your general rule that you can use to be able to determine your vertex, focus, and directors.